Hello everyone, this is Kan Nishida from BA Publisher Channel. Today I'd like to talk about how to translate my report. So with the traditional reporting tools, the translation process used to be much complicated. Basically you, you start with creating a new report, such as for example with your native language like English. So you have the layout or data model type of information in English. So now you need to support another language. So what you're going to do is typically you create another report based on the copy of the original report, and then you translate the layout of the report. So now like you need to add more languages, you simply copy the original report, and you translate each report. So now, for example, if you need to support three other languages, basically you have four reports, and then now like you have something to be changed in the original report, basically you need to apply the same change in to the other languages reports. So the maintenance and the cost of the translation becomes much higher and more complicated. Now, with translation with BA Publisher, it's much simple and easier to manage. First of all, the data model is no longer in the report, so it's completely separated. So in the report, what you care is really the layer. So now, imagine that like, you need to support another language. What you need to do is simply, you just need to add the translation for the layout inside the report. You need to add more languages. Simply, you need to add the translation for the layout inside the report. So if you have to need, uh, need to add more languages translation, then you simply translate just the translatable strings for the layout and add that translation inside the report. So in this case, you, need, you, you can support four languages, but however, you still have only one single report. So anything you need to change in the layout, you just change the layout of the report within a single one report. There are two things you can do with BA Publishers translation. One, translating the reporting content. For example, if you're an English speaker, you like to operate based on your preferred language, in this case, in English. However, you need to generate the reporting co reports content in your customer's preferred language. So you generate the report and send that to your customer so that your customer can understand the report based on their language. In this case, you can translate the reporting header or text, text box or table or column header and everything else, everything you can translate inside the report. Another scenario would be to support multilingual uh, users. Right, so they, your users might want to see everything in their preferred language, not just reporting content, but also including report name, or parameter name, or layout name, or report description. In the case, your publisher supports that uh, scenario as well. So let's take a look how to translate BI Publisher report, uh, reporting content, and also reporting UI. So here's my report, Customer Order Status Report. Um, I have the report title, and the master section, the detail section, and I have the total, and also like I have the parameter, and then report name, and two layouts, and so on. So now I like to translate this report. First thing I need to do is go to the edit report, and I have the report layout here. I like to translate this layout, so I go to the properties. And I click the properties, so I get the template uh, translation section. So what I need to do is extract the translation. What that mean is, this is going to generate the XLIF file, which is the international standard uh, translation format. So I'm going to save this as translation.xlif. So I went ahead translating everything in this translation file. So from the uh, reporting header to master section to a table header, basically I translated everything into Japanese. So now, Next step is to import this translation back into the report. So now I come back to report layout uh, property UI. And what I need to do is click the upload icon and select the translated uh, exit file and click that. And then select the locale. In this case, I translated the Japanese. So what I need to do is just select the Japanese here and I click OK. And now like I have the Japanese translation. Click Save and I click the return. So let's take a look at the report. So now like when I click the view report, everything is English. 
But now if I go to the my account, where I can change my report language setting, so report language to be, I like to change that to Japanese, right? So if I select the Japanese, click OK. So now the report content is now translated. So report title and master section, and also the detail section of the report uh, column headers, and also the total. So everything is coming from the layout uh, now translated. And this is interactive view, but also like if I change that to the different format, and the translation is there. So in, regardless of any format you select, translation, um, all the translation strings is appeared. So now let's take a one step ahead. So like I like to translate everything. So not just reporting content, but also the layout and report name, and also the uh, parameter name, right? So what I need to do is go to the catalog and select the report, which is order status. And if you notice here, there's an icon. This is a translation icon. So what I need to do is just click the export exif. And this is going to download the translation file for not just the layout, but also the report itself. So when I open this file, so you see the layout name, such as status or order detail, or report name, um, or the in, also um, all the translatable strings from the layout. So now what I need to do is just to translate this file. And again, right. I went ahead translating everything. So now that like I translated um, to Japanese, so these are the layout name and this particular part, customer contact. Now this is the parameter. And then others are uh, report layout. And also here, the report name, uh, order status. So after that, like I save it and then go back to the report catalog here, the same UI, and then click that translation icon and select the import exif. And I'm going to need to select that uh, translation. So here's my translation and upload. And basically, now that like I imported all the translation I've done for the report. So let's click open the report. So now I go to the my account. So now, not just the report locale, right? Like let's say like I'm the Japanese users. I like to see everything in Japanese. So like now I need to select the UI language to be Japanese. So click OK. So not now not just the reporting content, but also the UI, uh, layout name and the report name and also the parameter name. So now this is how you translate your report, uh, including the contents, but also the reporting UI with BI Publisher. So in the previous demo, you have seen like how to translate the uh, report, but also you can translate the data model, you can translate style template, sub template, and also the folder name. So with BI Publisher, translation becomes much easier and much simple. Hope you enjoyed this session. This is Kanishida from BI Publisher channel and thanks for watching.